This is Ableton certified Dubspot instructor Thavius Beck with another edition of Did You Know? Did you know that the EQ8 that ships with Ableton Live has a high quality setting? And did you know that by default, this high quality setting is not enabled? Well, let's figure out how to enable the high quality setting, and if you so choose, how to save it as a default preset so every time you open up the EQ8, it'll be in high quality mode. Looking at my set, we can see that I have an audio track with an MP3 on it, this beat called Thuggington that I made a little while ago, and I have an EQ8 already on that track. So before we play anything, first, how do we enable high quality on the EQ8? Well, if you guess, I bet you'd probably get it right. All you have to do is just right click on the title bar. There we go. And at the very bottom, we can see high quality. If you notice, there's no check mark next to it, which means that right now it is not enabled. Again, high quality is not enabled as a default preset for the EQ8. So if I want to enable high quality, I just click this. Then I can right click again. Now I see high quality is enabled. There's a check mark next to it. And if I wanted to save this as the default preset so that every time the EQ8 is open, it'll be in high quality, I can just click save as default preset and that will accomplish what I want. And yes, I want to overwrite my preset. So why would I use high quality? What's the difference? What does it do? If you look in the manual, you're not gonna get much of an answer. It's not very clearly explained, and I had to dig through a ton of Ableton forums to get this answer, and now I deliver it directly to you. So when high quality is enabled, what happens is the audio, before it's fed into the EQ8, it's oversampled by a factor of two. The sample rate is doubled. Then the equalization is all calculated, and then the resulting audio is downsampled by a factor of two, and then that's what you hear. So again, the incoming audio, it's oversampled by a factor of two, the sample rate gets doubled, the equalization happens, and then the resulting audio is downsampled by a factor of two. So ultimately, what does this mean for your music? Pretty much it means that when you enable high quality, you're gonna hear more of a difference in the higher frequency stuff. Uh, generally, the frequency is above five kilohertz. You probably won't notice too much of a difference down here. Uh, you can also visibly see the difference in the EQ graph. So we're gonna check that out uh, as I play my MP3 Thuggington. So if I right click, High quality is enabled. I'm going to disable this first. We're going to start in normal mode. And the best way for me to illustrate the difference between the normal and high quality settings is to do a high filter frequency sweep. Um, so that's what we're going to do, a high pass filter frequency sweep. That's what I meant. So what we're going to do is, uh, first, let me just play this. Yeah, yeah. All right, so as this is playing, I'm going to disable these other points on the EQ8. So now we just have this one point here. I want this to be um, a high pass filter frequency, a high pass frequency. So we're gonna let the high frequencies pass through this, which means I wanna roll off the low frequencies. All right. And I'm gonna sweep from 100 hertz all the way up to 22 kilohertz. And I want you to take note of the shape of the slope here. All right. Again, if I right click, we're in normal quality. There we go. High quality is not enabled. So let's sweep through this. Again, take a note of the shape of that slope. Right now we're in normal quality. Okay, getting those low frequencies out of there. Now as we get higher and higher, you're gonna notice the shape of the slope is gonna slightly change. You see, it's getting more steep, more steep. And now look at that. Now it's basically like a brick wall. Okay, so you notice how that slope changes as we get to the higher frequencies. Okay. Now, if I enable, actually, let's just go right there. Okay, so we're gonna leave it right here, all right? We're at 22.0 kilohertz. Now, this is the normal quality setting. If I enable high quality, you're gonna notice immediately a difference in the slope. Okay. Now, let's sweep back down. Now, with the high quality setting enabled, if I sweep up through these frequencies like I did before, when we get to the higher frequencies past 10K, you're gonna notice the shape of the slope is not gonna change. Okay? Where in normal quality, the shape did change. We're gonna start this over really quickly just so I can illustrate this one more time. So again, in high quality, once we sweep up the higher frequencies, there's no change in that slope. 
if I change this, and you see already the shape of the slope changes. If I sweep up higher, this becomes more steep, more steep, more steep, and then it becomes like a brick wall. So there's other little subtleties based on the fact that the audio is being oversampled and then downsampled. We're going to post a few links to some forums where you can do more research and read on and just, you know, really understand what's happening when the high quality setting is enabled. So you'll better understand if you should use it on your own music. But the point is, is that now you know that the feature is there, you know how to enable it, and you know how to save it as a default preset. All right. And just to go over that again, let's bring this all back. There we go. Enable that. Enable this and enable that. I'm going to right click on here, enable high quality, right click again, and now I can save this as my default preset. And yes, overwrite my old preset, bam. So now anytime I bring the EQ8 in, it'll be set for high quality. All right. So now you've learned how to enable high quality, save it as a preset, and you have a bit of a better understanding of what it's actually doing. Okay. I encourage you to check out the links that we post so you can, again, further educate and enlighten yourself. Uh, the more you know, the better, right? So on that note, this is Ableton certified Dubspot instructor Thavius Beck signing off. And now, you know. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.